So I was stalking myself as one does, as everyone does. I know all of you do it. Don't even lie. And I came across this video that I did before I like blew up on YouTube. My dressing like One Direction fan fictions video. Oh my God. I was laughing so hard at that video. Thinking to myself, why did I stop doing challenge fashion videos? And so today we are going to be dressing like my favorite Taylor Swift songs and ranking the atrocities or iconic fits that come out of it. Normally for fashion videos, I plan all the outfits beforehand. I create a whole mood board, but I am going in blind, but I'm not allowed to try on any of the pieces and I'm not allowed to look at any of the music videos. It's solely how the song is formed in my brain. What colors does this song elicit in my brain? What emotions, what fabrics, what silhouettes? Why am I creating all these rules for myself? I don't know. Also, I'm hungry, so hold on, excuse me. Mm, so good. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, rules. I think it's gonna be funny that I'm not allowed to try on any of the pieces because the outfits might turn out to be absolutely ass. I'm gonna finish my bar and then we can move on to stage one, which is actually choosing my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Polarizing word. Like some people are like, ugh, that word like gives me the creeps. <laughs> um, well, anything I do is polarizing. Welcome back. I changed into a different top just for you. It's boring if I just go like, mm, off the top of my head, these are my favorite. No, we're gonna go off data. So I created this playlist called Taylor Swift songs that have me in a chokehold. It's public on my Spotify profile. You can go ahead and follow it. Four of you guys have already discovered this playlist since I made it yesterday. I saw this tweet that said, if you had to choose one song to convert somebody who doesn't like Taylor Swift, what song would you choose? And please let me know your answer down in the comments. For me, hands down that answer is Getaway Car. You were driving the getaway car. Because it has such a climax and it's such a euphoric, adrenaline inducing. Wait a damn minute. Wait, no, 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 no. What am I saying? Getaway Car is definitely number two. All Too Well from Taylor's version of Red. All too That sponsors my entire existence, okay? This 10 minute version was released. When I was recovering from a breakup, I did scream this in the shower and while I cried myself to sleep and while I was driving in the car, especially because the song was originally written when she was 21. I'm currently 21. Aww. The emotions and the vibrancy in which she captured it was just absolutely flawless. Listen, listen, listen. T let me tell you the backstory behind Teardrops on My Guitar. Teardrops on My Guitar is the first Taylor Swift song that I listened to because I had a crush on this guy in sixth grade um, and he was beautiful, so beautiful. And everybody in my grade had a crush on him, including me, duh, I'm basic. And I loved him so much. Okay, love, ew. And so I remember, <laughs> Pulling up the Teardrops on My Guitar music video and being like, Drew looks at me, I fake a smile, cause he won't see. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, the Drew that like is in my head, okay, let's call him, let's call him, let's call the real Drew of KDU's life, mm, Solomon. <laughs> Solomon wouldn't even look at me, okay? I couldn't even fake a smile, so he wouldn't see, cause he didn't see me, period. But wouldn't you know, Solomon, and I actually reunited like eight years later. I was on a vacation to a foreign country. He happened to also be in that foreign country and guess what, we hooked up. So guess what? There is a redeeming arc. Therefore, it is easily going in the top five, all right? Nobody, no crime. Ah! Nobody, no crime. For like a straight month, I would force my entire family to listen to this murder song over and over and over on a repeat. And I was headbanging so hard that my dad was scared that I would set off the airbags in the car. Yeah, that's how passionate I was about this song. One final slot to fill. What do I do? Okay, I forgot that you existed. I wouldn't have expected this, but I do have a personal story. I forgot that you existed. This was right after my ACL surgery and I was like bedridden. Even showering was such an ordeal. Like I had to put a seat in the shower to even shower because I couldn't stand. And I remember playing Lover in the shower on repeat. And the first song that always came on was I Forgot That You Existed because I refused to shuffle albums. If you listen to album on shuffle, like you, um, you need to do some soul searching. Stop it. Get some help. The fifth addition to our roster. Wow, amazing. People ask 
really weird questions about my cats. Like they're like, do, do your cats like your new album? <laughs> no. Des questions sur ces chats, du genre, est-ce que tes chats aiment ton nouvel album? They have no opinion. Do you like my socks? I don't. For all 12 10 minute version, what do I think? Okay, we immediately, we need a scarf. Left my scarf. It's your sister's house. We're gonna pull up the lyrics. I'm allowed that much creative reference, all right? Plaid shirt days. All right, do I have any plaid though? Because let's be real, plaid is a little outdated, Taylor, come on. This is upsetting. So we don't have plaid, but we have pounds too, all right? We're gonna pretend that this is plaid. The album is red. So I do think we need to incorporate some red, cute, red leather pants. The air was cold, wintry vibes. This is not actually warm, but it makes me look toasty and warm. We can talk about the symbolism of how she came into this relationship under the facade that like her heart was gonna be warm, but like actually he was ice cold, just like this top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, getaway car. I know the song was written about how she was dating one man, then she runs into another one at an award show. He's the one with the getaway car. So I'm thinking Met Gala vibes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this is a candidate because it's like a long black dress and I remember when I tried it on, I did feel like a bad bitch. He poisoned the well, I was lying to myself. I knew it from the first old fashioned we were cursed. Clearly this girl is a heartbreaker. So I do think that badass heartbreakers wear corsets. Bad bitch corset. I also think we should put on sunglasses. They immediately just make you look like, I don't give a shit about your opinion. His car goes vroom vroom, your car broke down. So like, obviously I'm just gonna go in the one that takes me for this. Uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of bored though. Like. Uh, oh, because they are accomplices in a crime scene, you need to wear gloves to like cover up your tracks, your fingerprints. So I have these elegant lady gloves. Just to add luxury, we could either add like this scarf or we could do this element, but this isn't very award show. And just imagine black stilettos. Number three, <laughs> teardrops on my guitar. I mean, teardrops, we're thinking cool tones, like tear, water. Wow. Look at the dreamy details of this. And it comes with this belt with pearls in it, duh. Sad Girl Taylor, pearls, perfect. This is like all my jewelry. Ah, we have a lot of pearl elements, so I'm thinking pearl bracelet, for sure. And then these pearl drop earrings. I bet she's beautiful, that girl he talks about. Okay, whatever, whatever, I don't care about this girl. When you have this unrequited love, there's so many butterflies. Perfect segue into putting this butterfly hair clip in my hair. Wow. Number four, no body, no crime. It's the most exciting because like we're dressing for a literal murder case. Ah! Obviously we gotta commit crimes in style. You wanna wear all black. This crop blazer as the first black layer. You know what a great addition would be? Is like a black mask. Conceal your identity, not get the icky smell of blood in your nostrils. <gasps> or, no. <laughs> Good thing Estee's sister is gonna swear she was me. Good thing his mistress took up a big life insurance policy. <sighs> okay, clearly these women are like in middle age, okay? Dining at Olive Garden, life insurance. What we're basically gonna do is we're gonna combine the good and bad girl elements, infuse it with a little bit of maturity, just enough to skirt under the gaze of the police. I'm thinking black skirt, black tights. It's called. I forgot that you existed. I just know that this song is a roast toward Kanye West. Oh my gosh, perfect. Most dramatic is literally on the breastbone of this hoodie. These white sweatpants to make sure that it's not just too much white in your face immediately. We can throw on this vest. I actually love the look of this. It's giving me a little bit of fuckboy energy, but I forgot that you existed is like, a pretty fuckboy statement. Oh, we can add like a snapback. Oh, Katie, you're so smart. Another thing that I just received, my management gifted me these cute AF slippers. Not only do they complement the cream tones throughout that whole ensemble, but in this song, Taylor Swift is like, I forgot that you existed, like I don't even care. Carrying slippers on any outfit immediately makes you look like you don't care. You see this smiley face? That is how I feel right now because we have finished. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, I forgot that you existed. Sorry, I didn't see you there. We have the hoodie on, most dramatic. Right now, it is giving just nothing special, honestly. She's not selling me anything. Oh my gosh, these slippers are actually dope. Okay. <laughs>
yes, does she give off fuckboy energy? She does, but you know, I accept the Chad in me. In retrospect, I actually did an amazing job putting together this outfit because Lover's album cover is pastel. So I did a great job incorporating like fun, funky, fresh colors. On to No Body, No Crime. It's a murder story as we've made very clear and I didn't account for the fact that the protagonist is like a small woman So how are we gonna knock this husband out? Maybe like a few rings. So I got these like gnarly looking rings and then these chunky boots These could be weapons. Now we have to incorporate the mask. Okay so good definitely not something that i would wear in my everyday with that being said if i did would everyone not drop dead immediately i think so it's quite a 180 turn before i show you the full fit we wanted to channel the pearl aesthetic for the sad girl soft girl vibes and i wanted to match the white of the pearls with these and we also talked about how one-sided crush gives you butterflies and even better butterfly earring. She's quite dainty. And then on this side, we're gonna switch out the standard pearl for a pearl drop because tear drop. Okay, the lyrical parallelism. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Look at this dress, girl. Look at this dress, girl. Look at this dress. Look at this dress. What? What? Is that crazy? This is exactly what I aspire to look like when I am rich and 54 and say welcome into the foyer of my 82,000 foot acre mansion. Good morning. I don't know. Okay, I'm out of interest at this point. Look at this dress, girl. I exchanged the pearls for like a lot of gold and then I switched out my earrings to be big gold hoops. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. Look at these rings, okay? I'm obsessed with them, but too bad they're going in the gloves. I have to wear a sticky bra to keep this dress on and low key, she is barely hanging on. This is such a vibe, bro. I don't think she's a vibe, so we're gonna take her off. She had a good moment, thank you. trying to channel plaid because she mentioned that a lot. Wow, I feel very expensive. The iconic scarf that we left at our sister's house. Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh. I feel like cute as hell. Um Jake Gyllenhaal, you can break up with me in this outfit and I won't be mad. I like writing songs about douchebags who cheat on me, but I'm not gonna say that. We are going to be ranking my outfits. Number one place will be called Untouchable. Number two, never go out of style. Number three is like, eh, mediocre. I forgot that you existed. Number four is I did something bad. And then number five is bad blood. Like I hate it. Starting with last but definitely least, I forgot that you existed. No question about it. I mean, she is a little funky and fresh and she's comfy, but would I wear this and be proud that I was wearing this in front of my ex? Probably not. Next, I did something bad. On the screen, I feel like getaway car actually slays and I would want to whisk her away in a getaway car too, but she was really uncomfortable to wear. So I didn't feel that cute in it. And on the other hand, I feel like I felt really cute in Teardrops on My Guitar here, but on camera, it didn't sell as hard as I was thinking. So I think that I did something bad is gonna have to be teardrops on my guitar. If I had a guitar with me, maybe she would have been bumped up a few places, but alas. Then I forgot that you existed. Getaway car. She on the big screen, she has absolutely served. The waist is snatched, the corset is doing her job, but the dress just didn't fit me right. On the other hand, nobody, no crime. I felt like I was serving, but on the screen, it's just not serving as hard. Nobody, no crime is gonna have to be demoted to I forgot that you existed, which brings me to never go out of style, second place, getaway car. And we love that. Oh my gosh, getaway car is also like second place in my song rankings. And without a question, without a doubt, without no context. Untouchable is the all too well 10 minute version. Both the song, 
and the fit. I'm going to link this tier list in the description and you guys can go ahead and rank the outfits in the way that you would. DM me screenshots of your ranking and I am actually very, very curious. I think what was so fun about this video is that you can take a piece of pop culture and internalize it and personalize it to your own experience. Now I have to go clean up my room. I mean, she's been messier, so I'm actually kind of happy. I love you, Yuligan, so much. Have a great rest of your week. Goodbye.